Hello everyone, I am Snuff Anybody Mac Fiegel. Um back from a long break of doing reviews. Um, the reason for that is, in the meantime, uh, my girlfriend has uh, given birth to uh, the new addition to the family, a little boy called Tristan and a little girl called Cassandra. They're taking up almost all of my time, so there ain't a lot of time doing uh, reviews and uh, keeping this channel updated. On other updates, I am no longer sponsored by Northerner. Uh, difference of opinion on uh, how reviews uh, were to be done. But, well, what do you know? Back to snuff reviews. This is a review I've been uh, neglecting for way, way too long. Uh, it's a fantastic product and uh, very complex and made by one of my really, really good friends. We're talking OSP. Batch number two. My favorite of the first three bat batches that Chris Oldham made. Um, on YouTube, he's known as In a Pinch. Check him out. But let's get on with the review. Let's look at the snuff. This is what the snuff looks like in the tin. Uh -huh. And it is a good medium grind. I'm guessing the moisture level is, or I know that the moisture level is just a wee bit under what most of all would call the medium. The color is dark chocolatey brown. So, that's the snuff. Let's see how it works on the nose. Okay, that's what the snuff looks like. But now to the important uh, two little bits. Tin notes and uh, how it actually works. Okay, the tin note. Oh, this is brilliant scent, for me at least. It is very smoky. has sort of spicy notes to it. A bit like um, fresh wood sawdust. Something fermented, but most of all you do get uh, toasted tobacco feeling here something vaguely sweet and if you take quick little uh, puffs of it going Instead of the long, deep draws in, you will get something slightly biscuity, like graham and crackers. But well, let's have a big fat pinch. And I'll tell you more about the scent in the nose. First of all, very substantial burn on the side of your nose. <sighs> Went a wee bit overboard and draw that a wee bit too hard. My eye is watering a wee bit. But again, the smokiness. Uh, it's a, a, a bonfiery smokiness. It, it smells like, you know, campfire smoke. Um, it has peppery uh, undertones. Oh, 
esposa. And coming through now is a wee bit of that uh, sawdust I was talking about. Uh, the toasted tobacco base is also making itself present. Um, I have not read Chris's descriptions. Uh, I have tried to keep away from getting other people's point of view. Uh, with snuffs, it's a lot like with uh, wine. If people tell you what this snuff should taste like, uh, you can immediately trick your brain into tasting what they thought they scented. I am getting also something very, very vaguely tangy, mm, something f slightly fruity, but it's very, very subtle. Um, my guess here is that the, the tobacco base is mostly burly because of that uh, graham crackery uh, bready thing that I'm getting. But I'm also getting something quite spicy, uh, a bit like black pepper, and something fermented. This is one, this is my favorite of the three initial batches that Chris produced. I love the uh, smoky, uh, more deep snuff scents. <coughs> and <coughs> here comes the back rib. Because there is back rib on this snuff, and it, it's intense. It is burning your throat just a wee bit. It's not an unpleasant burn. Um, if you have a glass of water near you. <coughs> but it is there. Oh, now it is burning just a little bit. It's good. I like this snuff. I do also get a wee bit of forward drip. Not much, but enough to have a hanky nearby. This is one of the snuffs that after a couple of minutes you also start to taste them in your mouth. Because the back drip is it's quite big and you get a lot of it. So a lot of the snuff taste is also on the mucous membranes in your throat and that quite kind of transfers to the mouth. very complex snuff and the layers kind of subside comes on again the smokiness lovely lovely snuff <coughs> good nicotine initially almost nothing this is a uh, nicotine that kind of creeps on you and now I am starting to get quite a lot of nicotine I am guessing on my little scale from 1 to 10 where 1 is nothing and 10 is you know call the doctor I'm gonna give this 6.5 it has quite a lot of nicotine and I do get uh, some of that nose pulse but for me, most of the nicotine I do get from the back drip. So it is a snuff that will creep up on you. 
um, be careful with taking uh, huge pinches and taking them uh, close to each other. On my uh, last review of an OSP snuff that I did with uh, Ian, uh, I said that I had to invent a new uh, grade system for crystal snuffs because uh, they are unlike anything else you do you are able to buy and this is also the case with this uh, I normally do a 1 to 5 and this snuff gets a 6 or a Chris uh, it's a perfectly blended snuff um, it's really intense it has a very long uh, longevity uh, you have this scent and the snuff, uh, the, the nicotine pulse for a good 30 minutes. Very impressive, Chris. This is a damn good snuff. So, perfectly blended snuff. Good work. Um, that's all for me for this time. Uh, I will be back very shortly with uh, more snuff reviews. Goodbye.